The following tape for Palmer Films has the narration for the Hiller Aircraft Corporation film, and uh, would like to mention that because the film is not available at the present time to me, uh, the timing therefore is difficult, at the end of this tape there will be much dead air which can be spliced in to make up for the pauses. The reading itself will be at the same speed as it was in Spanish, and then with splicing, appropriate splicing, you can add in as far as the timing goes for the scenes where there is no narration. Starts in 15 seconds. For years, a helicopter has been used in agricultural land management. Progressive farmers and ranchers throughout the world have found the versatile helicopter the most capable and efficient means for fertilizing, seeding, and application of pest control materials. Spraying, dusting, or fogging a wide variety of crops is much more effective with helicopters because the 2 million cubic feet of air per minute forced down by the main rotor blades ensures penetration of the spray or dust material into even the heaviest foliage. Flying lower and slower and having greater maneuverability than conventional aircraft, the helicopter is capable to treat the smallest and confined areas while loading and operating under the supervision of the grower. At the present time, there are more hillers engaged in agricultural operations than any other type of helicopter. On the vast banana plantations in tropical America and the pocket-sized potato fields in Europe, on the locust-infested hills of Central Africa and elsewhere in the world, Hiller helicopters are providing a vital daily service to agricultural land management. In the spring of 1959, Hiller Aircraft Corporation of Palo Alto, California, began deliveries of the new Hiller 12E. Fitted with the Lycoming VO540 engine rated at 305 horsepower and completely re-engineered, the Model E offers the highest performance in the light utility class. New agricultural equipment was developed to take full advantage of the E model's superior weight carrying ability even under the most adverse conditions. Spray tank capacity has been increased two and one half times to almost 150 gallons. The spray broom, over 32 feet long, is equipped with nozzles spaced about 15 inches apart. A pressure range of from 0 to 80 pounds per square inch is available. By varying pump pressure and nozzle orifice size, a flow rate of from 0 to 80 gallons per minute can be obtained. Flow from the engine-driven centrifugal pump is controlled electrically from a switch on the pilot's cycle PIX switch. Weighing less than 125 pounds, the Hiller spray equipment features a dump valve for use in brush and forest fire fighting, or emergency jettison of the entire load in less than seven seconds. This summer, Hiller 12Es were contracted to undertake a timber spraying operation in California's high Sierra Nevada mountains. A small moth was killing stands of lodgepole pine trees. Under U.S. government supervision, the 12E was selected as the only equipment with sufficient power and controllability to complete this previously impractical project. Here at Tioga Pass, 10,000 feet above sea level, operations began at dawn. Loaded with 90 gallons of diesel oil insecticide, application was made at the unprecedented rate of 20 gallons to the acre. Pilots and crew worked at a furious pace during the few hours each morning before the breeze began to stir, causing the spray to drift. Each helicopter returned to the loading area every five to six minutes was on the ground an average of 40 seconds and airborne again. Only the forest inhabitants were unaffected by the activity. Flying at treetop level at 55 miles per hour and with the aid of color aerial photographs, pilots maintained extreme accuracy in their flight patterns. However, to check the kill, a team of observers was constantly patrolling in the wake of the helicopters. Directed by radio and aided by pre-placed check cards, 
effectiveness and spray penetration were continuously recorded. This is the large pole pine needle minor moth. On the left, Dr. George Straubel of the University of California holds a healthy pine branch. In his other hand, he has a branch damaged by the moth larva. The helicopter applied spray achieved a remarkable 87% kill of the pest. This is a much higher percentage than had been obtained by ground or by other aerial methods in the past. The sensibly designed spray equipment, combined with the Hiller 12E's outstanding performance, successfully accomplished this mission in the high Sierras. Once more, this shows but another of the many facets to the rugged but good-natured Hiller 12E.